Savadi crap to all my fellow carpenters out there! In this uh, Creative Thoughts series episode, I'm going to build three carbide tip chisels for a mini hood lathe that I just bought. I really try to do my best, believe me. Indeed, if you think I deserve, of course, thumbs up, subscribe and ring the bell for future videos notification. And now, with that being said, let's to build some and uh, let's to have fun with! Uh... Ok guys, in today's video I'm going to build 3 carbide tip chisels for my hood lathe. Here, 3 carbide blades that I bought from Lazada for 220 baht, 7 USA dollar about. Here a square and round blade, here a, sorry, a diamond one, and these are the three common blade shapes to work a turn piece with. I'm building my carbide tip chisels with a, let's check, yeah, one centimeter square shape mild steel profile. As uh, you can see, my carbide blades are uh, roughly one centimeter wide. Let's begin the project by precisely mark uh, where to cut uh, the recess that uh, is going to hold the blade. In my sketch, the square shape blade side view. These three are the most important measurements to keep in consideration, where to precisely cut the groove in our chisel body. On my sketch, I represented the square blade. However, some rules work with the round and diamond tips as well. I take my time, precisely mark all the measurements needed, cause I must end up with a carbide tip precisely centered. Only the carbide blade must protrude from the square profile. And I mean this, I just represented on my sketch. Here you are. In blue, the square profile, that is the chisel body. In red, the carbide tip. Only the blade in uh, its three sides must slightly protrude. Same rule is applied for the round and diamond shape blade and I hope that my sketch made sense. A milling machine is the best solution to cut the recess as the one needed for my carbide tip. However, 
we are talking about uh, a three millimeter deep one centimeter wide groove that can be cut by hands too with an acceptable degree degrees of precision so i begin cutting by a dremel circular blade I'm uh, completing the cut uh, with uh, my fine uh, toothed uh, hexo. And uh, finally, I refine the groove through my fine steel square file. Let's uh, give it a check. And uh, okay, spot on. The groove is precisely symmetric. I'm marking where to drill the hole for the fastener that is going to hold in place the carbide tip. I'm uh, taking my time because uh, I want to end up with uh, really precise measurements. Now that the precise center has been found, let's mark it. I begin to drill the hole with a center drill bit like this.
then I go through with a 2.5 mm drill bit cause the hold must be threaded for a M3 fastener. Once the hole is drilled, I countersink it. Just a slightly shallow countersink is enough to allow the carbide tip to perfectly lay down on the groove once firm in place through the M3 fastener. And uh, finally, let's cut the empty thread. I take my time moving the threading clockwise, counterclockwise, especially with a tiny tool like this, it's a M3 threading, a gentle force should be applied, cause it can easily break. As shown in my sketch, I'm proceeding now by shaping the tip of my tool like this. And I hope that it makes sense why the tool tip must be round over. <laughs> 